Visibility is dropping across Connecticut as fog forms, becoming a bit dense. Your first alert to what could be some difficult travel at times, not only tonight, but tomorrow, too. We're already down to a quarter mile Windsor Locks, Hartford, Meriden, a mile and a half in Willimantic right now, three quarters of a mile visibility in uh, Tolland, a live look at our ICAM in Hartford, which is not cooperating at the moment, would show some very foggy conditions. How about a live look at our ICAM in stores where the fog hasn't quite thickened up just yet? So this is what we mean by patchy fog. Throughout the uh, different parts of the state, we will see some areas that are clear, likely the areas that saw sunshine this afternoon. Other areas, especially in the Connecticut River Valley, the 91 corridors, Route 9 corridors, and along the shoreline is where we expect to see fog thicken up and do so quickly. First Lord Futurecast through the remainder of the night, showing visibility dropping even more. Look at how many stations by tomorrow morning will be recording visibility of a quarter mile or less, down to an eighth of a mile in Putnam. So this could impact anybody who has to head back to work tomorrow, post-holiday travel, things like that. But we do mix the fog out as we get into the afternoon across most of the state. But if we keep the northerly winds down the 91 corridor like we did today, we could even be dealing with fog into tomorrow afternoon for central parts of Connecticut. There's a storm system that's working its way through the Midwest right now. That's bringing rain to portions of Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, and a secondary uh, low will develop along that front and bring rain back to us starting on Wednesday. Today, high temperatures were mostly in the 40s where the sun popped out. Look at this, 50 in Putnam, 52 in Willimantic, 54 in Groton, 53 in New Haven, 52 in Waterbury versus 46 at Hartford Brainerd. Our average high for the Hartford area on Christmas Day is 37 degrees, so we were certainly above average in that regard, although perhaps not as unseasonably warm as other parts of Connecticut ended up being, given, again, that we were stuck in the uh, valley fog throughout the afternoon. Our network of neighborhood weather stations reporting two things. One, most stations still in the 40s. Kent, New London, Stores, and Bristol, all in the 40-degree range. Two, the temperatures and uh, the feels-like temperatures are similar. That's because winds outside are calm, and that's part of the reason we're able to see the fog thicken up so quickly. Quickly. Tonight, we expect temps to be in the 30s inland, low 40s along the shoreline, foggy and cloudy. That lasts through the morning hours tomorrow. And even into the afternoon, we keep the clouds around as temperatures inland top out in the upper 40s, low 50s along the shoreline. First Lord Futurecast shows the clouds thicken right back up late tomorrow night. And by Wednesday, we begin the day with some rain showers. But a period of steadier and heavier rain is expected heading into Wednesday evening. Early rainfall outlooks uh, reporting that we could end up with uh, rain perhaps about a half inch to an inch in total. So tonight, again, it's going to be milder out there, which is good because with the fog, we do not have to worry about any of it freezing as temperatures rebound tomorrow right back into the 40s and 50s. On the First Lord 7-day forecast, rain returns here Wednesday. Here's highs in the 50s. Thursday, lingering morning showers, highs in the 50s again. By Friday, we're back in the 40s, perhaps some isolated rain showers in the afternoon. We do dry out heading into the weekend, and Dylan, this is great news for anybody who has New Year's Eve plans. Temperatures seasonably uh, uh, chilly back down into the 30s for New Year's Eve, but it looks like things are going to be dry as we begin 2024.